both of you have siblings. Susan Susan has more. Um, when I was interviewing John Buffalo Mailer, it occurred to me that he's maybe the only child of Mormons who spent his whole life with with Norman. That John Buffalo Mailer was there in a more tranquil time, perhaps because there wasn't a changing of the guard of wives. Um, That's right. And, and um, I don't know how many of your siblings uh, have written or are contemplating writing memoirs, uh, or if you're inspiring them to write memoirs. And on, on the flip side, Esther, um, I, I'm just at the point where I'm starting to, uh, you know, I remember that one, one of your brothers gave you a, a, a painting set or something like that, a set of paints, and that took you into a realm where you could uh, find some uh, a space for yourself. Um, but I, I haven't gotten so far into it that I know anything about your, your brothers. And I'm wondering um, how they reacted to your book. And, um, and the same with you, Susan. How did your siblings react to your book? So maybe, well, maybe, you, maybe you can start, uh, Esther. Uh, firstly, my brothers played a very important role in my life. And when you, you'll get to that as you continue to read. Uh, they were surrogate parents for me very much. They were a mother nurturing and exposing me to the world, exposing me to things that my father didn't want me exposed to. And um, so they were very, very important uh, and um, receive a lot of attention in the book. And they're both thrilled that I, I put this down and I've immortalized our story. Uh, so I have felt supported um, and it's worked out very well for me. What about you, Sue? Well, I, I was just thinking about it right now. I, all my, my siblings are artists, except for me until recently, because I was, I was the professional one and all the others, they're either painters, actors, or writers. And they're all, they've all written their memoirs in a different, in one way or another. Um, my sisters uh, through painting, another sister, my other two sisters through, um, one of them through monologues that she acts. She has little, she has vignettes of you know, situations between her mother and, and our father. Um, my, another one of my brothers is, a, is an actor and he's, he's written a couple of plays that have to do with his mother and our father that are hilarious. I don't know if they're hilarious for everybody, but they're hilarious for us. We always just crack up when he, when he, when we read them. Um, so I would say that we all have written about our father in different ways, including John, um, who I would say is the one who's the most immersed in, in Norman. And um, I think the first published memoir is mine. But that, that doesn't mean that I, there won't be more to come. And I think there will be, I'm not sure if there'll be memoirs or novels or plays or what, or movies, but there'll be more, there'll be more material to come for that, I'm sure of. And yes, they were all very supportive and very um, happy for me, which I think was great because I've heard a lot of horror stories about families breaking up because of a memoir. So I'm happy about that. <laughs> 